All right, hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how you could easily create your own video game that you can then release onto the Steam Store. I'm releasing my first game shortly. It's called the official gaming tailor game, Great Job. It comes out in a couple weeks. It's a simple little zombie shooter. I used a game engine called GameGuru, which you can find on the Steam Store. It's only $20 if you wanna pick it up. It's a very lightweight and very, very easy to use game engine. Launch the program, it'll look something like this. If you hold the right mouse button, and down you can rotate the camera if you press WASD you can move the camera around and then if you press shift you can move around faster so by using all of those in combination you can fly the camera around in any direction to start out with it's a flat blank map if you go to file and then new random level you can generate some little hills to make it look a little bit nicer and there we go if you hit this little rocket ship button at the top of the screen you can test the game out and there you have it, and technically this is a fully playable game. You can walk around, uh, you can look at the incredible environments, and you can look at the skybox. If you press tab twice, you can pull up a bunch of settings. There's different skyboxes that you can choose, um, cloudy, dark, whatever you're looking for. Uh, there's also different terrain types. So I went ahead and went for a space theme. I went with the Mars 2 terrain type and the sky type dark. It looks quite nice in my opinion anyway. And there's a bunch of other features as well. You can change the fog, the vegetation, the camera settings, etc., etc. But for the sake of this video, this is completely fine. Let's go ahead and exit back to the map editor and this is what the map looks like i can actually modify the map by clicking some of these buttons up here this will flatten out the terrain if i wanted to make a flat play space to generate a level let's go ahead and create a flat space right here um, it's going to look kind of bad but oh well you can also smooth out various things if you wanted to make it smooth there's some jagged uh, mountains or whatever and you can also uh, increase the height so this will be our little play space. To begin with, you want to create a player start point. You just click on markers and then this little green button, and then you press R to rotate. So let's go ahead and make the player start point uh, somewhere around here. If you click on this and hit properties, you can change the player properties. So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the gravity, and I'm going to increase the speed amount. We'll go ahead and apply changes. And then I'm going to go to Entities, Add New Entity. Let's go to Weapons. We're going to add a little pistol. So this will be a shooter. We'll put the pistol there. And then we'll add an enemy. There's various player models already created. All of these assets, by the way, are free to use. Once you purchase GameGuru, you're basically buying the rights to use all of these assets that are shown here. So there's various player models. There's uh, various soldiers. I'm just going to go with the zombie theme. Let's go ahead and use the party zombie. We'll just add a party zombie on the other side of the map and then we'll test it to see how it plays. There we go. And let's go ahead and pick up the gun. And my low gravity makes it feel like I'm weightless, kind of cool. And let's go over here and shoot the zombie. And I could essentially release this game on Steam and just call it party zombies in space even a simple little project like this would probably make it onto the steam store but i would suggest making it a little bit more elaborate you can add more zombies you can add different types of zombies you can add uh, different types of characters and so forth you can even add uh, multiple levels but for the sake of this video i'm just going to create one simple level so here's some more zombies i can add some new entities i can add different types of zombies so let's add a different variant I'll put this variant over here there we go, and now there's a bunch of different zombies, and the player can shoot zombies for a good, like, five minutes or so. <laughs> if you wanted to create a little play space, there's all sorts of various props that you can use, various walls. You can actually modify the walls as well, so let's go ahead and just show you how to do that. Get it around. Uh, let's go ahead and just put it, like, somewhere over here, and then let's click on it. Let's click position. We'll lower it down a little bit so it's in the map itself. Then you can click scale and you can make it as however big you like. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger and then uh, I'm gonna click the extract button. And what I can do with this, if I hold the shift button down and then click on the map, it actually copies and pastes the wall. So I can just keep making the wall expand outward. And then I can press R while holding shift to rotate it while also copying it around in a circle. And this will create a little arena and it'll also be a great way to prevent the player from exiting this little play space all right so there you have it that's a nice little way to create walls you can also add a roof if you wanted to cover it if you wanted to add your own custom lighting you can do that too by going to markers there's all sorts of different lights so let's add some red lights just to make it look a little more interesting i suppose 
And yeah, basically what you do from this point on is just uh, fiddle around with adding more assets, making it look a little bit more presentable, um, adding more enemies. You can also add various um, triggers. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add a very simple one just to make zombies spawn. So let's say I wanted to make, let's say I wanted to make like five zombies spawn close to where the player picks up the weapon. So I'm going to create five zombies. Actually, let's just click on the first zombie first, and then we'll go to properties. And I'm going to change the zombie's name. Let's just change it to zombie one. Press enter, apply changes. Okay. And I also, oops, I also want to change the um, setting so that it doesn't spawn at the start of the game. So we'll click no apply changes okay and then we're going to click on this and then i'm going to click extract and then i'm going to copy him let's co copy like five of them in a very close little area and there we have it so now i want to go back to markers and i'm going to scroll down to um <clears throat> trigger zone so i'm going to click a tr i'm going to make a trigger zone on top of this little pistol and i'm going to click on the trigger zone go to properties and then I'm going to type in if use zombie one. So that basically means that if anything is used in the zone, then these zombies will spawn. So since I'm going to be able to pick up the weapon in this zone, it'll trigger the effect and then the zombies will spawn. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that little effect. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the gun and the zombies have spawned. And there you have it, a nice little zombie shooting game. You can add as many triggers as you want. You can add uh, multiple different weapons around the map and you can have you can just have fun with it and design your own level and uh, basically create your own little game very easily. So once you have your game completely created, and again, you can look into it more into designing multiple levels, adding different stages and so forth. But if you just want a simple game that, that you can release on Steam, there you have it. And what you wanna do at this point is you wanna click file and then save standalone. So first I'm gonna save this little uh, build. Let's just save it as uh, party zombies in space. Click save, and this will save the level. And then I'm gonna go to file and then save standalone. So it says standalone saved to my documents folder. If I go to my documents folder, you can see that there's a standalone game here that doesn't need the game engine to run. So let's go ahead and run it from the files themselves. And this is basically what a player would see when they first launch your game. You just click start and it'll load the map. And here we are. So let's go and pick up our gun, trigger the zombies to spawn. And it's a completely playable standalone game, which is quite cool. And you're essentially done. At the beginning, you might have noticed there was like some spaces to add images or something like that. If you want to delete that, you just go to Files. You go to Language Bank, English, Artwork, Watermark, and then just delete all these files here. And then next time I launch the game, the start screen will look a little bit simpler and less suspicious that you created it in uh, in Game Guru. There you go. So this is essentially what I came up with. There's just some castle walls and I used some of the default buildings and upscaled them a little bit and created some pretty massive zombies. These don't move, they're just there for visual appearance, but there's a bunch of zombies that you can fight and various weapon spawns located in different parts of the map. And uh, yeah, playing it in the test mode, you can actually see um, that it looks a little bit better with the skybox and various lighting effects going on. Use the same sort of triggers. You pick something up and some zombies will spawn and then you can move around and have some fun with it. And there you have it. That's essentially everything you need to know to create your own game on Steam using GameGuru. Like I said, this is a very simple game engine. If you are really planning on becoming a game designer, this is a good start. Although you should probably get into coding and scripting and getting into something a little bit more elaborate like Unity. With GameGuru, you can create a game within, I would say, 20 to 30 minutes. And if you wanted to pay the $100 submission fee, you can get it onto Steam. All you have to do is sign up to Steamworks and enter all your information and then upload the game files and then you'll have your own game ready to play on Steam. So that's about
about it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.